This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing particles logo animation inside of After Effects using Trapcode Particular. You can download this plugin from the link in the description below. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Let's change the width and height to 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Click on OK. Then create another new comp called this logo as this is going to be our logo placeholder. Press OK and drag and drop in the logo. So here I have a very nice logo of the black panther wakanda forever so i will be using this for this particular tutorial then create another new comp called this logo emitter press ok drag the logo composition in the logo emitter comp and then select the rectangle tool and let's create a mask like so let's go into the mask path and create a keyframe Go all the way up to 5 seconds, select the points and drag this all the way over like so. So we have a very simple and basic animation. Let's increase the feather amount to somewhere around 80 should be good. So now we have something like this. So this is going to work as an emitter for our particles. Now let's go back to our main render comp and drag and drop in the logo emitter comp just like so. So we have this animation here let's press ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background press ok and then let's hit ctrl y again let's call this particles press ok and go into effects and presets and search for the plugin that is the trap code particular double click to apply that all right we can hide the logo emitter layer so now we have these particles emitting like so so let's tweak a bunch of settings here. First of all, let's go into the emitter. And in the emitter type, I'm going to select layer, then go into the layer emitter and let's select the logo emitter like so. Now, as it says, the layer emitter must be a 3D layer. So to fix this, switch the layer to 3D. I'm going to press OK and then turn this logo emitter layer to a 3D layer, then select this and go into emitter and now we have selected the logo emitter so it's emitting some particles so let's increase the particles per second count to around 2 lakh all right so now we have these particles as you can see which looks pretty cool bring down the emitter size z to around 50 Let's increase the velocity randomness all the way up to 100. Then let's close the emitter and go into the particle section. Bring down the life per second of this particles to 1.5. Increase the life randomness to all the way up to 100. Bring down the spear feather to 25% and let's increase the size to around somewhere around 8 should be good. Let's increase the size randomness to 100. and the opacity random to 10%. Now let's go into the opacity over life, go into the presets and I'm going to select the second presets that we have. So we have a nice fade out as you can see right here. Maybe I'll bring down the particle size down to around six. That looks much better. Let's go to size over life and select the second preset. So now we have something which looks like this. 
pretty cool. Now let's close the particle emitter and go into environment. Set the gravity to minus 50. Increase the wind x to somewhere around 100 should be good. And set the wind y to minus 50. So let's preview our animation and it's looking quite nice I think. Let's jump into the air turbulence and increase the effect position all the way up to 100. This is going to add some randomness as you can see. And it looks much more organic now. Now let's go into effects and presets and add some curves on this just to enhance the complete look. So I'll make some room right over here and let's apply curves on the particles. Let's make them a bit brighter like so. And then I'll add some nice glow to this. I'm going to bring down the glow threshold to somewhere around 42 should be good. And let's increase the glow radius all the way up to 300. So we have this very nice glow as you can see here. Maybe the threshold is a bit too low. So let's set this to around 50. Yep. So that is looking quite nice I think. One more thing I noticed that I'll go into the particles again, go into the opacity over life and let's select the last preset. So we have some nice glitters at the end and that is looking much better. I think, yeah, that is exactly what I want. And then what I'm going to do is drag the logo composition below the logo emitter. Go into effects and presets and search for linear wipe. Let's set this to minus 90 degrees and add a feather of around 70. Should be good. Let's solo this layer up and go at the very start. Set this all the way up to 100. Create a keyframe. Go to 5 seconds and set this to 0. So now we have something like this. Maybe I'll increase the feather to 100. Not, we're not really sure. Let's see how it looks. And yes, that looks much better, I think. So I want the text to reveal after these particles. So I can just select this logo and hit U. Let's drag this keyframe a bit forward in time. So first we have the particles and then we have the logo coming in so this is looking very nice now before we move to the next step let's quickly take a look at our today's sponsor envato elements download unlimited after effects templates logo reveals background music sound effects fonts stock footages templates mockups and more visit the first link in the description and download anything for free for seven days with that said, I also want to tell you guys about Envato Tute Plus YouTube channel. Everything here is entirely free of charge. You can find full courses on topics ranging from Photoshop and in design to After Effects and Premiere Pro, all the way to package designing. The channel gets updated with new content frequently, so make sure to keep checking in to see if there's something new and interesting for you to learn. To know more about them, check the link in the description below. Now, as you can see, we get a little bit of color bendings in the glow section. So to fix this, there are two things we need to do. First of all, right click and create a new adjustment layer. Let's call this noise. Go into effects and presets and search for a noise effect. Double click to apply that. Uncheck these two options and let's set this to around three. And then go into the project panel, hold alt and click on this to switch to 16 bits. This is going to give us much better glows and also help us to get rid of any kind of color bendings while we render the final animation. So there we go. This is looking pretty cool. Now let's select everything. Hit Control Shift C to pre-compose it. Let's call this animation. And we can add a very simple zoom animation at the end. So I'm going to press S to bring down the scale property. Create a keyframe. Let's go all the way up to maybe seven seconds and let's scale this up by 115. All right. And let's add a nice fade out animation. So I'll go around somewhere around there. Or let's go to actually six seconds and let's move this to around eight seconds. So let's go to six seconds 
and go into fix and presets and search for gradient wipe double click to apply this set the softness all the way up to 50 percent and let's animate this so create a keyframe on the transition completion go all the way up to eight seconds and let's set this to 100 so we have a nice dramatic fade out which looks pretty cool and then i have a uh, particles or dust particle footage that i can use so i'll drag this on the top and let's change the blend mode of this so hit f4 to bring up the blending options and set this to screen so we have this nice particle animating we can also scale this down i think and this is looking quite nice so let's add a fade out on this as well so press t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go all the way up to eight seconds and set this to zero so now if I preview this, we have this really nice reveal and the best part about this animation is you can replace it with anything. You don't need to recreate the complete animation. So I can jump into the logo comp. I can replace it with any comp, for example. So I'll drag it, bring that down like so. And if I go back into our main render comp, there we go pretty nice and easy we can add an image a png cutout whatever that you want so this is how you can create this very interesting particles logo animation inside of after effects using trap code particular if you enjoyed this logo reveal tutorial i have a complete playlist of hundreds of amazing logo reveal tutorials so i have mentioned the link in the description so you can go and check it out also i have many tutorials on title animations typography so i highly recommend you guys to go ahead into the playlist section of the channel and check all of them out with that said, you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil Pavar. All the links are in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.